Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Welcome to another video in the ongoing series called Is This Pistol Still Relevant? And last week I featured the Steyr M9A1. And this one got a lot of attention. People have their thoughts about Steyr. Most of their thoughts are very well warranted thoughts. I want to talk about it. This was very popular, hard to find. That was the biggest problem with it. It seems to me Steyr is focusing on rifles. And they have a lot of rifles, but their handgun line has suffered because of the unavailability. But it has a 4-inch barrel, the M9 model does, with 17 round mags and a very nice trigger pull. And a lot of people said, I originally wanted one of those. I wanted it very much with the trapezoidal sights, but I couldn't find it. And then eventually Steyr came out with the M9 L9 C9 A2 MF modular frame. And that drew some attention, but because it was unavailable and hard to find and people were overpaying, and I was told those are still available, but you have to really search for them, people moved on to other handguns. And that was primarily the feedback I got. I was interested, but I'm no longer interested because they don't make them optic ready. And I moved on because I could not find a Steyr, which I originally wanted. This week, I think, is going to be very interesting. It is the S333 Thunderstruck, made by Standard Manufacturing. This is a Gen 3 model, and they extended the barrels with the Gen 3 model to two and a quarter inches. They made the frame a little bit more polymer with a polymer grip there, and it's a double barrel, eight shot, 22 Magnum revolver, and with each trigger pull, it fires two shots of 22 Magnum. And initially, people were super excited about it. From its launch, they couldn't keep these in stock. That was a Gen 1. Then they came out with the Gen 2, which is heavier because it has a whole bunch more metal on there. But it also has a shorter overall frame because this has shorter barrels. And people said those rounds are tumbling. And then they made the two and a quarter inch barrels more of a polymer frame, kept the same grip, kept the same open trigger guard with a two finger trigger with a trigger tab in there. And one thing they also did was put the styre like sights. So I thought about these sights and said, hey, this would be kind of cool coming up after I featured the styre, the trapezoidal sights. I'm surprised other companies haven't done that because it's a pretty accurate system. I've had great luck shooting this. I thought it was very accurate. All you do is fill that front sight in with the rear angled sights and it's very accurate. This is not for accuracy. It's not for range fun. It's a little bit of a novelty with two shots per trigger pull. Completely legal. People said, how is that not a machine gun? Well, it's not a machine gun because of the action and everything else, but you get four shots. Well, you get eight shots with four trigger pulls, which is what makes it most interesting. It's a bit lighter it actually carries in the pocket quite well. The trigger is heavy. It does have that trigger tab in there. So without that being depressed, this thing's going nowhere. It has an open trigger guard. It looks unique. It feels unique. It shoots kind of strange. But is it just a novelty or is it relevant? Close up. I, I would definitely use this close up. You think two shots of 22 Magnum at a a bad guy, it's going to put them down. Well, perhaps eight shots definitely will all stand by that. But, you know, it's, is it relevant? Is it something that you would be interested in? Did you own one of these? Is it something that you said, you know, I wanted to get it, but then I lost interest, or I still want to get that, or I'm not interested at all. It's not real relevant, and nor was it ever relevant. I have a feeling that some people are going to mention that. Eight shots, once again, recessed chambers and a double action trigger pull. Right there, four shots. You just delivered eight rounds of 22 Magnum. Definitely different. Is it a novelty? Is it a joke? Or is it a substantial firearm for self-defense? The S 333 it stands for three feet three seconds 
three shots is the standard self-defense. You know, I, I really don't buy into that because you never know. You, you can say what the average is, but that doesn't mean that's going to happen to you. But let's talk about the handgun. Is it relevant or is it a joke? Is it a novelty or is it substantial double action revolver that delivers two shots per trigger pull. I'll be looking forward to your comments. I think this one will generate some attention because this revolver certainly did upon its launch and we'll see if it is still relevant in today's world. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.